just have to put it over once, 20 seconds to do it, and then they move on to the next one. The disadvantage, if you like, for third is that they have to start with it. It's a, a giant game of hot potato. If it ends up on your side, well, you're not it. You will not go to the final. Well, Felix pops that over. Stoltman, quick to return. That's uh, not tennis ball weight in this rally. That's 352 pounds, now 396 pounds. I thought Mark Felix was going to try and volley that over. Pretty easy, Felix. I think it's fair to say he was once the king of the stones for a, certainly for a couple of years. He was magnificent and still is. He's a, he's a known unknown. Stoltman, Big Tom, they call him the king of the stones at the moment. Never write off Mark Felix. That looked pretty easy, you know. That was 418 pounds. You want easy. That's easy. OK, you're taking Tom Stoltman's side. Come no, on, I'm just, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, my goodness me, what a... What a magnificent talent Stoltman has for the Stones. He's just so long-armed. I mean, so is Mark Felix, but when you're six foot eight tall and you're long-armed, it looks so easy, and it's almost waist height. The bar now, Felix, this is huge. 465 pounds, a massive circumference. Come on, Mark. Even Tom's encouraging him. Well... He's a hero to Tom. This will be brutal if he kills him off here. Come on! I think that'll be it with the 20-second time limit. And that's it for Mark Felix. Remarkable competitors. And really, I mean, the one man Tom Stoltman didn't want to have to beat was Mark Felix, a real hero to him. In the end, he didn't have to lift the sixth stone to finish off Felix. The fifth was enough, and it lifted him into his third final. And he's with James and Eddie now. Here he is then, Tom Stoltman, through to the final again this year. That is your eighth straight victory in an Atlas Stone event. How easy was it for you? I mean, well, it wasn't easy. I was up against, you know, Mark Felix. He's like a daddy to me. He's a legend of, you know, a strong man. Been to countless of finals and, you know, I feel sad for him, you know, I have to go up against him, but I was confident. Uh, it was a nice wee warm-up for the final, you know, got a feel for the stones, how the tacky's going to sit in this heat, and, yeah, I was... Just, it didn't gas me either, so, you know, I'm fresh, and that's the main thing, so. All right, he's through to the final. He's one of the men to watch as well, Eddie. He is indeed. Last year, second place. I remember last year, Tom, after the final, I asked you, you know, your mum passed away not so long ago, and you made a promise to your mum, you're going to win the world's strongest man. We're here now, second place last year. Is this going to be the year? Yeah, 100%. I mean, I was consistent in my group this year as well. You know, all the groups were uh, close, and um, I got past the hard stage. Hard stage is the group stages. Now I can refocus, got a day to rest, and, uh, you know, six really good events for me. And uh, to be honest, if I don't make any mistakes, if I go in 100% and my mind's on it, then what's stopping me to be the best in the world? 100%. So. The, these events you've had so far, they must have put to rest so many doubts that you had coming in from last year. Yeah, 100%. Even the first uh, event in the qualifiers, you know, I'm right. good at the loading, but the frame, I've never been really one for the grip, and even that's improved big time, you know, and uh, a few of the other events as well, but I was, like I said, consistent, top three in every event, and I got through to the final, which is the main thing, so... It absolutely is for now. Could we be set, though, for the first British World Strongest Man since that fellow over there? Tom yeah. Stoltman, congratulations. Cheers, thank you very much, Stuart.